Rejoice. Something we're probably not doing a lot of these days. Something we're probably not thinking about a lot these days. Why would we? What reasons do we have to rejoice? There's a global pandemic. There's all these kind of complications arising with educational systems, the healthcare systems, political elections. There's all these different things that are bombarding us. Rejoice? Why would we do such a thing? So this is an original idea of mine. Rather, I was standing in vigil for Holy Door Vision, and it's a constant theme that we keep hearing of throughout the service. And the full context is this. Rejoice, O full of grace, the Lord is with thee. He that grants the world great mercy through thee. Something that's very beautiful and powerful for us and shows us the very reason in which why we rejoice. This is very important. This is very key. And so I'm going to give you a quote from St. Paisios, the Athenite, that connects all of this together for me that might be helpful for you. A quote that he says is, what I see around me would drive me insane if I did not know that no matter what happens, God will have the last word. How true is that for us as Christians? It's easy to get caught up in everything going on. It's easy to want to lose your mind, to lose hope, to despair, and to see, uh, wonder what the purpose is of all of this. How do we fit into this? And then we hear, as we celebrate our Holy Virgin, our Mother, we celebrate her falling asleep. And the Church gives us that gentle reminder our Holy Virgin gives us that, that presence of the reason in which why we rejoice. Which is because of the great mercy that's granted through the presence of our Holy Lady. The great mercy that's granted in the presence of the Lord. As Christians, this is our focus. What St. Paisios is saying is that when we're constantly just looking in the world and what's around us, it's very easy to get bogged down. He would even say it would drive him insane. He would lose his mind if it weren't for the fact that he knew God had the last word. And that's the thing. As Christians, we have to be mindful. Is there something much greater at play here? There's something much deeper for us in our lives and our purpose than simply what's just going around us at the moment. And so we hear this, rejoice. And it's not something that should be taken lightly. It's not something that should be pushed to a side. But rather we should see it and hear it as a reminder of our very duties as Christians. Because we celebrate and we honor the Blessed Mother, the Holy Virgin Mary, the one who is full of grace, and that through her, God came into the world, thus granting us all mercy, thus giving us something higher to live for, and something higher to be a part of than simply what's in front of us. This is our call. So yeah, it might be very difficult to find times to rejoice. It might be difficult to call ourselves to that. But we have to ask ourselves, so where is our focus and what are we truly looking at? Is it difficult to rejoice because we're bogged down by all these cares of the world? Or is there something greater waiting us? in which we can rejoice, 
something that stirs up our souls, something greater than what we have right in front of us. Rejoice.